aching so bad and so stressed right now. Oh my face is hot. Oh. What is he doing? Okay, there's glitter everywhere. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my no. Hello everyone. Welcome back or to my channel. My name is Christina. I don't know what my voice is doing. <coughs> if you are new here, hello. Nice to meet you or nice to see you again. So today's video is going to be really different for me. I've actually always wanted to be a beauty guru, so... It's gonna be fun. If you are new here, my channel is normally a book channel. I am going to see Twice tonight, and I love Twice. I've been a fan of Twice for like three years now. I love, love, love Twice, and this is my first time seeing them. So this is gonna be like a get ready with me while I answer the book tag, like the mid-year book tag. And I know like mid-year was like last month, but we don't gotta worry about that. We're gonna do it now. Ooh, okay. I just pulled up the questions. I actually went and got a mini mirror. And in case you ever wanted to know my makeup routine. Question number one. Best book I've read so far in 2020. Oh my god. What is the best book I've read so far? What did I even read this year? That's a lot of pressure. I don't think I can choose one book. It would probably be Renegades by Melissa Mayer. And I didn't even continue the series because I wanted to do it for a vlog, but I really really like that book Ooh, best sequel <gasps> mm, that is a very very good question i haven't read a lot of series this year but like the hawthorne legacies i really like the second one that's a that's a that's a sequel oh no no the right move in the wind city yo if you haven't if you haven't read that book get to it get to it you don't need to read the first one in the series, in my opinion. Um, I wouldn't call them standalones, but I would read the first one. Just because I personally think it just makes more sense and it'll be an easier read. You don't gotta ask any questions um, when you're reading the second one. <gasps> okay, wait, new release you haven't read yet, but want to. Oh my God. Oh, Rapunzel. This came out in February and it's technically a new release, but I haven't gone around to reading it yet and also it's new to me i just got it last month i think i think most anticipated release for the second half of 2022 that's a curse for true love by stephanie garber the third installment of the once upon a broken heart trilogy that woman has my heart my soul all of me i love stephanie garber's work and the thing is, Stephanie Garber, I hope other people feel the exact same way, but she just keeps getting better and better. I swear every single new book that she comes out with, it's so good. It's really, like, it's, you see it. Stress pimples. Also, it's my time of the month, so I have some acne on my face. Da, 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 na, 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 na. Ooh, biggest disappointment. So I read the Cool Print series this year, and I was actually pretty disappointed. I really liked the first book, like the first installment, but as it went on, I felt like it was pretty eh. And then even, actually, the book of the air I just read, literally just read two days ago, and it was pretty eh, too. It's pretty disappointing. Honestly, every single popular TikTok book that was like a romance, like a rom-com, disappointed. It didn't hit, and I was very sad. I want a book to hit. I don't want a book to fail. The worst book of 2020. Oh my God. <laughs> if he had been with me, if he had been with me, yo, I'm sorry, I don't get it. In my personal opinion, I hated it. And it didn't even make me sad. And I was very upset, because I was like, I want to feel something when I read. Ooh, biggest surprise. I have that, I have that. Normally this isn't my style, but I was very surprised. I just. After reading the Win City series, I needed something else and I was just I was just going through it, you know? <laughs> so the blind side and Hail Mary from the Red Zone Rivals. I don't think I've ever been such a fan of men. After reading those, I was like, I love men. Oh, <laughs> uh, I knew this one was coming. So new favorite author? I feel like I've read so many new like authors so i don't have like a new favorite i have a pretty round base i don't know i'm gonna try this 
face is like not round, but it's also not super chiseled. Like, I don't know. Then I'm also taking you with me to the concert. So this is like a get ready with me for the Twice concert and also come with me to the Twice concert. Carissa Broadbent, who did the Serpent and the Wings of Night duology. Oh my God, new favorite character. Rain, 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 rain. You can't get me to shut up about it. I loved it, I loved it so much. I gave them both five stars. Like actually comment down below your favorite author. I wanna say like the author you think is underhyped. Oh, a book that made you cry. Renegades. And also Seven Days in June. Those two books made me cry. A book that made me happy? Oh my God, I don't know. Um, A lot of books made me happy. I don't know. People we meet on vacation. Also, dial A for aunties. But I do have a lot of other books that like make me happy. I don't have like a specific book that made my heart grow three times the size. Oh my god, also Carrie Soto is back. Actually, that book made me cry. I forgot that I read In a Jam. Mark that under disappointments. Favorite book to movie adaptation you've seen so far this year? Daisy Jones and the Six, I guess that counts. That's got, it's gotta count. I'm sorry, but I haven't seen, there's no book to movie adaptation that I've seen so far this year. I'd personally say read the book instead of watching the show. Most beautiful book you bought this year. Yeah, it's all I wanna. Most beautiful book I've bought so far this year. This book is pretty. <laughs> I don't know. I like these covers though. I like these covers. Let's just say these are the covers that I find the most interesting. That like really caught my eye when I was buying. These are some hard questions. I'm an indecisive queen sometimes, you know? What books do you really need to read by the end of the year? My God. Oh my God, the books that I have, that's my physical TBR. <laughs> Every single book that I've bought. We're gonna take this seriously. These. Also, this book right here. I wanna read it by the end of the year. I just want to. Also, if you haven't been here before, this is my baby banjo. To my baby banjo. Wait, that's it? Hmm. I guess I can talk about Twice real quick. You can skip this part if you want. Also, if you're a fan of Twice, please comment down below your favorite song and album and era. Also, if you want just for funsies, please say your your bias and your bias record. Or if you don't stand Twice, mm, that's suspicious, but we're gonna go with it. Comment down below your favorite group. An album that I loved every single song. Eyes wide open, we're gonna say formula of love. And if you don't listen to K-pop, mm, you should give it a shot. You should just give it a shot. There's lots of groups out there. Now, I'm just gonna get ready and then I'll be back. So I redid my makeup because um, I don't know what was wrong with me. I think I was just way too stressed. I missed three steps and I looked orange. So I did it. Because um, I'm not gonna go see it twice and the bus did it cross. So now I have, listen, I don't know why I'm just, I'm just gonna show you my shoes because I can. So I'm five six, five five and a half. I don't know, either one of those. So I need some height. I'm gonna have my pancakes. That were left over from this morning. Oh, so I made my friend a sign. Look at how cute, it's glittery. I love Momo, because my bias is Momo, and I love Momo. I wasn't gonna go to this concert. I twice have been here, actually quite a few times, but I just haven't gone. I've seen H's and Monster X, and that's it. And I will be going to the Enhypen concert that is in October in Arizona when I move there. Two groups that I wanna see, Shiny and the Seraphim. And 17. I like a lot of groups. I listen to everybody. I only listen to K-pop. In case you're curious. Okay, I'm going to eat the rest of my pancake. If you want to know how I feel about anything regarding K-pop, I got you.
much pain. I'm so scared to see what the bottom of my feet look like. I'm so sorry I left you for so long. My precious darling, my sweet angel of music. That's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's video. The concert was great. I love me some Momo and some Twice, but there was a guy with a hat who's blocking me. I couldn't see him. I was watching from the monitor the whole time. I breathe the same air as Twice. That's all that matters. Hope you enjoyed today's video. See you next time. Sugar boy. He's like, no, I just want to give you kisses.